Let's talk vacation. Um, how are we uh, gonna do this? Let's all just say it. It's a weird time. There's just no scooting around it. Summer camps and entire countries are closed. And you can't even crash in your local coffee shop for a break from the kids or your same four walls. Earlier this week, Ashley came at you with some ideas for how to reframe your vacation and create an experience to remember with your family or your partner. And now I'm here to share a few more thoughts with a special nod to those of us who fly solo to get your brain turning and to show you how those vacation dollars you've been saving up all year long might still be able to get you just the R&R &R you've been needing. So when I go on vacation, I'm looking for these four things. Happiness and joy, memories, anxiety and stress relief, and new experiences, AKA adventure. I am confident that with the right attitude and a little creativity, we can achieve each and every one of these many times over on a local staycation. You saved up a whole lot of money for this trip. You said no to a lot of things all year round so that you could have enough money to go on this trip that you can't go on. May she rest in peace. Though you may not get to spend it in the way you wanted to, you budgeted for this, so you have options. The bigger question is, what do you need right now? You may choose to push the bulk of these saved vacation dollars into next year's vacation. This is truly delayed gratification at its finest, but imagine if you could level up your road trip to Utah to a flight to Europe. That's not a bad deal. Or maybe your idea of a vacation well spent is reallocating those dollars somewhere else entirely. If it brings you serious rest and relaxation to see those student loans go down or put more money toward a down payment on a new house, then by all means, I will do me if you will do you. But personally, I'm gonna go with this third option because if you are dying for a break now and reasonably so, what if we repurpose that vacation money to achieve the same goals we originally saved them for? Well, if you saved up your money in categories like meals, hotel, travel, you can find a way to still honor those categories on your staycation. For example, if you had saved up a meals category with enough money in it to eat out every single meal of your vacation, then why the heck not eat out every single meal of your staycation? There are tons of local restaurants that could use our support now more than ever. So you placing that third order of local handcrafted burritos is actually helping a local business keep their lights on during a very scary season to be a brick and mortar shop. Or if you've got a fully stocked fridge or don't wanna eat every meal out, try to bless someone else and pay it forward. Can you tip extra big or purchase the meal of the customer that places their order after you? Remember that you're the one on vacation and they're not. So they might be needing a little extra kindness in their day. What if that could be you? If you had saved up a travel category for road trip gas or the flights you never got to purchase, what if you used that money to rent a kayak buy the bike you always wanted but never had, or take up a new hobby like longboarding or rollerblading. Because you don't need four wheel drive or sky miles to cover some serious ground and take yourself to new destinations. I read that on a bumper sticker. If you had saved up money for hotels, how could you use that money to find a brand new space to get away to? Dare I say it's time you invest in your very own camping tent? Now this idea is far easier said than done, but what if instead of paying to go to paradise, you invest in creating your own paradise? I recently heard of a woman who used the funds from her canceled trip to Europe to make her own backyard the ultimate getaway. I'm talking hammock, tiki torches, light canopies, fire pit, the dreamiest plants, and an inflatable hot tub? Did we all know that that was a thing? And if you had saved up money for an experiences category for things like museums or swimming with the dolphins, now may be your ticket to finally purchase that online photography course you could never justify buying before. And that could be a gift that keeps on giving to yourself. What greater gift, am I right? And lastly, now that we've looked at a few ways we can use our budgeted vacation money, let's whip up a few ideas to make your staycation just what the doctor ordered. 
First, ask yourself, what does self-care look like to you? How can you make it feel like you're not just sitting at home? What are some intentional life-giving activities you can do that you can't normally squeeze into a busy work week? Next, you must implement some kind of structure into your staycation. Because we can make plans to do a million things on our staycation and somehow end the week having watched Parks and Rec all the way through for the fourth time in your life. Keep things simple and plan one goal or activity for each day of your staycation. It doesn't have to be something big or fancy, but just one thing that you can check off your list at the end of the day. That being said, explore limitations with your technology. Do you want to keep your phone on you all day every day to keep up with friends and family during your staycation? Maybe. Or does your phone tend to keep you from disconnecting or being in the moment? There is no right answer, just something to consider. I'd also encourage you to think about making at least one outdoor plan for your week off. Go find a trail to hike somewhere or walk along the river or take a dip in the lake. I would say go to the beach, but we don't have those here. So we take a dip in the lake. Whatever it may be, find an activity that's new to you and gets you outdoors and exploring. This tip is probably my favorite because I do it every time I go on any vacation. Prep the house before your staycation. Do all the dishes, vacuum the carpet, sweep the floor, clean your bathroom. Because how amazing would it be to wake up first day of your staycation to a sparkling clean kitchen, no responsibilities, no agenda. It'll help put your mind at ease and get you relaxing right off the bat. Also, don't forget to make a playlist that creates your ideal vacation vibe. For me, that's upbeat, happy music that you don't get tired of. If you had to cancel your cabin stay in the mountains, think mountain music. Folky, bluegrass, any guy that sounds like he has a mustache. Also, think about what you love most about going on vacation and try to implement that same sentiment at home. Do you love sleeping in hotels? Maybe camp out on the couch instead of your bed. Room service? DoorDash. Getting a bronzy summer glow? Lay out while listening to an audiobook. Next, if you fly solo, you may very well be spending a lot of your staycation by yourself. So try going into hashtag bless mode. We tend to think of vacation as me time, but that me time is even better when we know we used it to bless others. How can you show your friends, family, neighborhood that you see them and you love them even though you can't spend time with them? I love to ding dong ditch with a fun little goodie bag or a freshly baked plate of cookies. Well, I, yeah, I don't actually bake cookies, but. Draw fun, goofy pictures for the little ones in your life, put a stamp on it and send it in the mail. Oh, and didn't you have some thank you cards you've been wanting to write for like two years? Because now you finally have the time to sit down and scribble a little note for one of your favorites, telling them how much you love them. And don't forget, you can always send gifts to people directly through Amazon. Because how fun is it to get a package that you weren't expecting at all? You're all, what, what, what? I didn't order anything from there, what? But bam you got something from there. Buy the foods you love, but never let yourself have. Get all the supplies you need to mix some drinks or start every morning with a fresh fruit smoothie. I like to stick some grasshopper cookies in the freezer. Maybe you put in an order at your favorite Thai restaurant and buy some theater boxes of candy for your own movie night. Also, if you're not the type to typically pamper yourself, now is your time. Bath bombs with trinkets on the inside. Face masks that sparkle like a unicorn, like weird little foot scrubs. Read a book in the bathtub. Maybe a dip dye your hair. Think of your de-stressors and do them. A guy named Marty Nemco actually coined the term projation, a project vacation. Plant summer flowers in your garden bed. Pair it on your closet and donate what you don't wear anymore. Finally, change the burnt out light bulb in your bedroom and nail that fallen fence board back in because not only will it make your staycation feel more productive, but it makes life after the staycation easy, breezy, beautiful. Finally, get your creative juices flowing and commit yourself to a home decor project. Overhaul the bathroom with a fresh coat of paint or finally hang those photos that you framed two years ago. Maybe create a cozy little reading nook in the corner of your bedroom. These might not all feel like your standard vacation tasks, but if they'll make life easier and more relaxing the rest of the year, I'd say it's well worth your staycation time. Get personal. Self-growth and habits are hard to build, but now is the time to put undistracted energy into yourself and build some healthy new habits. 
tackle that five day juice cleanse you've never had the brain space for, or create a temporary space to do a week long workout challenge. Reflect on your year so far. Maybe you pick one thing you wanna grow into and one thing you wanna grow out of. Journaling is an amazing way to clear your mind and free your brain, and let's get real, you're going to want to tell your kids about your vacation you took during a pandemic, so you probably better start writing this down now. Also, with the right amount of creativity, you can get social. Hold your first ever socially distant picnic. Everyone brings their own food and their own blanket and camp out in a big open park. You can also go on a socially distant hike. Embrace your inner child. Fly kites, ride your bikes, and chalk up your neighborhood with encouraging messages. Just make sure you are always abiding by your local community's safety guidelines, always wear a mask, and speak up, because those puppies are hard to hear through. And not to be drastic, but I also know a fair amount of people who have adopted animals from rescue shelters during this time. This can actually be so healthy if you live by yourself. You're finding yourself a new companion that's always there that you can love on and take care of, and they'll love on you more than you could ever possibly love on them. Quarantine has not always been a blast for me, but having my pup around has for sure made it 10 times better. And lastly, let me just spitfire some final ideas. Read, like a book. Take a master class. Start a YouTube yoga series. Have ice cream for breakfast. Just like one day, maybe not all. Watch a movie outside. Take a nap outside. Take a nap with your dog. Like copy the exact way they're sleeping and, and be a dog. Buy a hair lightening spray and get a whole new look while soaking up the summer sun. Find one good cause to start supporting. Hop on a dating app? Get your cultural fill through cookbooks. Three words, Zoom dance party. They're real. I attended one. Buy s'more supplies and light up the fire pit or broil them in the oven. Camp in your backyard. Use tabletop simulator to have a virtual game night with your friends. Step one, borrow a kayak. Step two, kayak. Think wild. Think crazy. Think of things you've never done before that you can't wait to tell your grandkids you did. I'm just gonna say it. One man music video. It might make you the cool grandparent, it might make you the kind of bonkers grandparent, but everyone needs both. So you're doing your job. And those are all the ideas I have, but of course, if you have an idea that you didn't hear in the video and can't wait to share with people, drop it below. Because let's get real, we are all staycationing this summer. There could not possibly be too many staycation ideas. So keep them coming. Someone across the world may thank you for it. So, I gotta go find an excuse to wear this hat. See you next week. Start a YouTube yoga series. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really good idea in my head. Really good idea in my head. Take two. Start a YouTube yoga series. No, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I'll just cross my legs. Start a YouTube yoga series. Oh. <laughs>